Hello everybody, this is Andy, and welcome to episode 15 of Greg Tech New Horizons. And I'm sure things probably sound a little bit weird, a little bit different. This is the first video I'm actually recording at school, um, because I'm back at school now, because I'm in college and stuff. So, yeah. Also, I've noticed uh, my, my things disappear when I do it like this sometimes. That's weird. So, uh, a couple of things have changed since the last video. I've collected a bunch more oil, I've done a lot more oil runs, I've just kind of let the world run for a while, and I set up this monstrosity right here, which is producing heavy fuel. So I've used up a bunch of oil to make a bunch of heavy fuel, and now, at the beginning of this video, we're going to power this advanced mixer right here with some, uh, some you know, some uh, MV power, and we're going to produce uh, fuel, or diesel. For now, I think I'm just going to power with light fuel, and I'll eventually probably just break the tank that's outporting, or out, outporting, outputting light fuel from there, and uh, let it empty fully, maybe run some machines once it's fully emptied. What just decided to be so loud? I'll probably just run some machines and empty all of the light fuel out of the pumps, and then pump some heavy fuel into it. Also, it looks like we have a little friend up there. Hey, ya buddy. How you doing? For now, I'm just going to pump the light fuel directly into the machine just with uh, this thing, and eventually once that's probably going to stop working, I'm going to find a different way to pump it in. Or I'll probably, I might just, yeah, I'm going to disconnect it entirely from there, and then I'll maybe put the valve somewhere else and pump it directly into this machine. We're also going to need a tank here, so uh, I may need to do that soon. Right now, I only have like eight cells to work with so it's what we're going to work with. However, uh, I'm going to make more, I just need to make the mold. I'm currently casting out some of those plates that are used to make the mold, so uh, we'll get there in a minute. However, if I go ahead and do this, it should... Oh no, it needs a circuit. Let me go grab that. I need a circuit on six, and it should go. It'll make me, I believe, six buckets? Yeah? Yeah, okay, and we're going to have that output into the back and into a tank that I'm about to build. And just like that, we're starting to get quite a bit of fuel. The main bottleneck is actually that this light fuel doesn't transfer very fast, but uh, for now, that's quite all right. I just need to get a couple more. I need to set up a way to automate this. I might think about doing that, like, now. Okay, so I'm slowly on my way to automating, and I think the next part is gonna be disconnecting that. So whatever light feels in this thing just is gonna have to get used up, and uh, hopefully we don't run out of power before we need to do other things. But let me go ahead and explain, I know this place is even more of a mess than it already was, but let me go ahead and explain what I've done to automate this. Basically, I've just added these item filters. This thing is conveying. there's a conveyor on the uh, left side over here, it's sending it into this thing. This uh, filter can accept both of these things. And then it's trying to convey her out into both of these, however this one can only accept the hydrogen sulfide, this one can only accept empty cells. Empty cells go up in here and get sent over into this tank right here where they get filled with hydrogen. The hydrogen sulfide cells get sent into this tank where they are unloaded and shoved into the tank right here and then uh, sent back into this chest and then out through here into the same line as the other one and into this tank as well. Once they're in this tank they're pushed up directly into the next pipe and sent back into this chemical reactor right here where it should always have hydrogen cells. It actually looks like it just ran a cycle, so everything appears to be working just fine. As long as I throw enough cells in the system, everything should be okay. So the next step is going to be setting the same thing up right here. And I think we have a little bit of room to work with. Yeah, we have a little bit of room to work with, and I'm going to have to try and set up the exact same thing. I might actually, uh, what I did is I downgraded to one distillery. I think I'm going to do the same thing right here so I can reclaim one of these combustion generators and uh, a little bit of space. Okay, and now there's an even bigger mess, uh, but it's mostly automated. I'm not entirely sure why these aren't working sometimes, but they seem to be on average making me not run out of things, I guess. I don't know, but we're getting fuel, and all I need to do left to start utilizing it, and we're getting fuel very fast, actually. I'm probably ripping through my light fuel and my heavy fuel. Uh, not so much the heavy fuel, but definitely the light fuel. So, uh, I mean, that's fine. Uh, this stuff will last about a third longer than the light fuel I was using, which is uh, a pretty significant margin. Um, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna need to pull out of this and connect it up to our wooden fluid pipe somehow that once had our light fuel in it, and we can start using this stuff as soon as the uh, generators run out of whatever fuel they're using. And there we go, all hooked up. That should supply our entire base with fuel to last forever, essentially. And this thing's gonna fill up in no time. And it looks like we have our extruder shape for cells, so I should be able to make as many cells as I want now. And, okay, I can't figure out my sounds. Some of them are so loud, and some of them are like on 1%, but like screaming at me. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. And I know it's only been a couple minutes for you, but it's been like an hour and a half for me, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some sleep, because it's uh, over 12, and I have school tomorrow, so I should probably get a good seven eight hours of sleep so uh, i'll try and record and get this video out tomorrow however we will see but uh, i'll see you guys in the morning all right it's the next morning everything here appears to be working just fine we're full up on oxygen now we're also pretty close to full up on hydrogen and uh, everything's working. I had to make some transfer nodes just to pull the items out of here and into the these filtered things because they just weren't really working for some reason. And I made the transfer nodes a couple episodes ago when I thought I was going to do the creosote oil stuff. Um, and then I never used them. So uh, it wasn't that bad. And that block does not need to be there. It's a mess here. Usually I like a lot cleaner setups and I could definitely make a lot cleaner of a setup. However, um, that sounds like a lot of time, and Greg Tep pipes uh, are a little wonky to work with, so I think we're gonna work just, we're just gonna not, not really worry about this. However, let's go ahead and make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is uh, something we're gonna need to make polyethylene, and polyethylene is the goal. It's one of the main goals of the MV, MV age, and uh, I'd like to start getting into it, like truly. And the first thing we're gonna need for that is an MV mixer, and then a couple of LV chemical reactors. And there we go, there's that mixer, and let's go ahead and set this up before I make the chemical reactors. We're gonna have to run this at MV, so it's gonna have to go right over here. And there we go, the oxygen is connected up, now I just need to give it all the sulfur. And I'm going to do that by literally putting all of my sulfur in a chest. Oh, also, I forgot to mention I blasted up a ton of electrical steel so we can make more tanks now. And there we go. There are two more fluid tanks. This should be enough to get me through the uh, production cycle. So what I'm going to do essentially is just fluid output directly into this guy. And there are the two chemical reactors. All right, there's a little bit more going on here. I have oxygen also going into right here and then it's getting shoved into cells which are getting pushed by the tank into this tiny item pipe into here and then after they're done with this they'll get auto output back into the tank and then filled up and then pushed um that is the main half of this the other half is just this tank which fills with this gets pulled into here and i just need to put a configuration one circuit on there and it begins making sulfur trioxide now we take that sulfur trioxide, connect it over into this using these uh, cells full of sulfur trioxide, and uh, connect the water up from the tank we've been using for a little while, and it should begin reacting if I put a circuit in it. And... bam. No? Oops, um, I forgot to connect it up to power. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't really work. Your uh, machines don't go if you don't plug them in. And go. Come on. Please go. I know you're supposed to work. I'm gonna give you a second. Warm up, come on. Ah, there he goes. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this guy works and he sends his thing out into here and then it gets sent back and you know, yada, yada, yada. And hopefully we'll be good. Everything appears to be working just fine. Awesome. For now, I think this is where I'm gonna leave my sulfuric acid production. However, eventually I'm going to hook up the hydrogen sulfide we're producing, making fuel up there, and uh, make it into dilute sulfuric acid with water, and then uh, distill that into sulfuric acid, which uh, will be a good source. It won't be our main source though. You know, It's gonna start to fill up over there eventually, and we don't necessarily want that to happen. The other step to ethylene, and therefore polyethylene, is this ethanol stuff. It's made from a couple of things, uh, mainly uh, alcohols and biomasses. So I think this is what we're going to use. We're going to use maybe like potatoes or something and ferment into biomass, and then turn this biomass in a distillery down into ethanol, and then react this ethanol with a, with a with our sulfuric acid to make ethylene, and then we'll react this ethylene, I think right 
Um, yeah, we'll react with oxygen to get polyethylene. It's a one to one and a half ratio if you use oxygen and a one to one if you use air. However, I'm not entirely sure we can actually get air. So uh, oxygen is going to be the half, going to be the way we go. Good thing we have a lot of it. Okay, it's uh, quite a few hours later, and I've ran into a slight snag in our plans. I need a brewery in order to make the uh, whatever or something over here. However, that requires a brewing stand, which is locked behind Thongcraft. That actually requires a new special Greg Tech New Horizons uh, research, which uh, I can't do unless I have scribing tools and a table, which I have. However, I can't click it on the table until I do the research for this, so uh, we're kind of stuck. Also, apparently, you can find brewing stands in uh, roguelike dungeons, so I think I'm just going to do that instead of actually doing Thomcraft research, because Thomcraft uh, research, I can't say Thomcraft for some reason, Thomcraft research scares the ever-living crap out of me. The good thing is, though, we have one right here. Uh, I've been here before. I pulled a bunch of uh, bricks out of here for our blast furnaces, which are uh, now completely obsolete because we have the real blast furnace. However, uh, this place will come in handy once again because we need to find a brewing stand. And I'm real. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, we really need to find one. And I don't think this place is going to be very dangerous, but it is going to be dark and slightly scary. And... This isn't looking like a place that's going to have a brewing stand now, is it? Okay, I've never done one of these dungeons before, but this feels like a trap. This has got to be a trap, right? No. No? It's not a trap? Then why does it exist? I guess I won't complain, like, I'll take the, the power one, that's like my first enchantment, but this feels like it should be a trap, that's a wasted opportunity. And this right here is the worst potion I've ever seen. I guess you get regeneration three, you get all your health back, but you're essentially dead after that, so, I don't know. It's a fun souvenir, I'll take it. Okay, now you can't tell me this isn't a trap, right? That's gotta be a trap. It's hooked up to something. What? Hello? No? Maybe maybe it didn't spawn correctly. <laughs> what? What is this place, dude? What's going on? Oh, it turned on the light. That's really nice. Okay, never mind. It wasn't supposed to be a trap. Hey, spider. Oh, hey, modifier. Um, put down a torch, probably. And, ooh, protection one. I'll take it. Well, this is definitely a mildly ominous room. However, I guess we go down further. There is uh, more to be explored. And I'm starting to think maybe there is going to be a brewing stand in here. I'm just going to really have to look for it, aren't I? Oh. What? No. Hold on. Uh, oh, another one. Can I can I stack? Nope, of course not. Uh, what's going on here? Is this a trap? This has got to be a trap, right? No, it's just a jukebox. I get to have it. I'll take it. And in the chest right next to it, we get a little mall. Okay, I'm going to take that and throw this other crap away. Okay, perfect. Now we can have uh, music in our base instead of just machine sounds. Excuse me? Oh, hello, little baby. This dungeon is simply not even close to as deadly as I thought it would be. I, I literally haven't had a single challenge yet. And you can tell because I haven't put anything in the video about fighting yet. Because there hasn't been any fights. Okay, now this is a room. Some nether wart. I was going to need to find nether wart anyway, so this is just faster nether wart for me don't have to go to the nether for it and hopefully i can find a potion not a potion a brewing stand a potion maker okay i tried i couldn't find anything not even some strong monsters to fight but i did find this so ah oh, very calming now time to do thumbcraft research i guess this song actually uh this song kind of go goes hard i really like it i'm gonna listen to it Okay, so since we can't do it the way that I want to do it, we're going to have to do it this way. And it's actually not that bad. We need to make one of these iron-capped wands, which is the crappiest wand. It even has an extra V cost, but it's pretty cheap. So we need some of these iron caps, which is just a bunch of iron and uh, pregnant with sticks that I just made. Uh, it's just wood and seed oil. Very cheap. I actually need to put the chest back because I stole it away to put the tank there. And I want this tank back too. Um... And then it's just a couple Naga scales, which we live in a Naga place, so we have killed a Naga before. 
Also, I'm not entirely sure if I remember to show you guys, but uh, we have a ton of aluminum and steel right now. We're really chilling. If I need to go mining for anything, it's going to be iron and uh, gold, but uh, those are pretty easy to find, and actually you can find them both in the same vein, so not really worried about that one. And I just need to cut that guy, lay those guys into screws, and then we should just be about ready. Oh no, I need to do a bunch of iron processing. Hold on. There are the two iron caps that we need. And there is the iron capped wooden wand. Okay, that should be pretty good. And I think, yeah, that completes the quest just fine. And I guess we get two oscillos from it. That's pretty cute. However, we want to move onward from here. I don't know if I found all of the infused stones. However, I don't think we'll need them all right now. And it wants me to get a Thaumonomicon, which I have right here. Um, okay, there we go. Completed the quest. Perfect. And it wants me to check here. Here. It's talking about warp. I think I'll read that later and I'll get my stuff later and we want to make this Okay, uh, let me read Okay, I know you guys usually get on my case about not following quests, but we're gonna do good now uh, I don't know anything about thongcraft, especially this thongcraft So we're gonna do it right and this is where our wand is gonna go. You just tap on the tape. Oh That's weird. I don't like that. That's the um, the goggles <laughs> It looks so odd as I was saying, you just uh, tap on the table with your wand and it makes it a fancy table. And I think you just have to do this, this, and then scribing tools. Yep, and it makes the research station. So we're going to need a bit of paper. And uh, it's a it's a good thing I have a little bit. Uh, it's also easier to make paper now than it used to be. You just need some stone slabs and some chad. Very, very simple to come by. One of the other key things for Thongcraft is the uh, Witch's Cauldron. Or, uh, I don't think it's called a Witch's Cauldron, but it's like a, it's like a fancy cauldron. You just do that. And you get, oh, it's called a crucible. That's what it's called. Uh, and then you can put your wand right back. Perfect. Um, there's a mini game here to unlock all of the different essences. You have to like, I don't know, combine different aspects. I've gathered a couple because I gathered some research, I think. And uh, it just like, I don't know. I've never done it before, but I've seen people do it. You have to like combine and uh, unlock all the essences, which sounds really annoying. So I might look up how to do it online. I'm gonna move my cauldron to hello. Why not? Why won't you go there? Do you have to have space? Um, wait, is it not working because I'm too far away? Maybe? I don't know. What the heck, dude? It's working now. As I was attempting to say, I don't want it to uh, burn my stuff down. And uh, I think it might if I had it where I put it. I also moved it over to have a little more space in creating this little contraption. So Flux works completely differently in 1.7 than it does in 1.12 and like 1.10 I think. I think it reworked after 1.7, but basically a little goo or a puff of uh, smoke will come out of your cauldron and if there's nothing above it, uh, it'll just float up into the air and be gone forever. If there's goo, you just kind of destroy it by placing a block over it. And then you don't have to deal with Flux. Flux is so much easier. I need to make two more scribing tools for the quest, and that should complete that, and then we should be able to get into research. What? Why didn't you give me the glass files? I think I never technically held them in my inventory. Hey, Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna need this, and uh, I guess we could also make better caps. Maybe I'll do that too. Uh, let's make the thermometer. That, uh, hopefully I've found all the shards. Uh, let me check on that. I didn't have all of them, but uh, I had found the veins already, so I'm just going to go ahead and process the, these uh, through our ore processing system and use the ones that I've already found to make the thermometer. And this is just a little bit of gold and a diamond lens. Ooh. Oh, diamond plate, that's fine. Believe it or not, cutting a cubic meter of diamond into nine slices takes a little bit of time. That little bit of time is 768 seconds, apparently. Okay, wow, that that took forever. Hopefully this doesn't take quite as long. Oh no, please. Please tell me this doesn't take forever. Okay, it's only a minute. That's uh, much better than 12. Alright, let's uh, shift-click that in there and get our thermometer. And now I think we can scan things, right? Do I have to... Oh no, is scanning bad? Scanning might be bad. Okay, it's definitely the bad scanning that I don't like doing and you kind of like have to do it in your inventory. You can't like scan an entire chest at once, it just scans the actual thing that's placed, which is no fun. 
However, I don't know how to do this minigame, so I'm going to have to look up the rules, and uh, hopefully I can explain them. Okay, so there's no way I can do a uh, explanation of this justice, however, I think I have it. So, like, you have to link these by using things that are adjacent to them. So, like, Victus, or, uh, wait, hold on, right he wait, can I grab it? Yeah, Victus could go there. And Victic Victus could also go here because these both um, turn into Victus when you combine Aqua and Terra. And then I can combine the Victus is together by using simply one of these, I think. And, be or well, because they are one tier apart down. And that is uh, Terra. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. However, I think. Think, well, I went around and scanned everything in my base, every single thing, all the armor, all the slime balls, all the redstone, everything. And I have a ton of stuff. As you can see, it's still kind of um, running past. However, I think when I place this thing right here, it will complete the research. Yep, there we go. That is the research for the brewing stand. By the way, that took like half an hour. And I think I just click it. Yeah, and now we should have the recipe for the brewing stand. Brewing stand. Like that. Okay. Okay. That's actually not that bad. Do I have... I don't think I have that many blaze rods. Oh, one short. All right, as much as I don't like it, I need to go to the uh, nether. I need to go kill some blazes. I also have uh, exactly zero recollection of where the uh, nether portal... Not the nether portal, the nether fortress actually was. I just know I went in this direction looking for that uh, Realgar stuff, I think. So, I'm kind of stuck in a bad place. There's a ghast over there trying to kill me. It's a special ghast. I don't know what kind of special, and it's bad. And there's a million uh, blazes over there, and my pick is broken. Um, don't think it could get much worse than this, and I'm just going to take a jump for it and hope I don't die. Oh, God. Please stay away. Okay, I think I'm good. All right. Um, I've got a little bit of armor dur armor dur dur ugh. Armor durability left. I think I'm gonna try and take one of these guys out really quickly before we, they know what's happening. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Okay, uh, back out. Be not blind, please. Is there a blaze rod in there? It doesn't appear, so there is one, but I'm gonna take that. And I'll try and kill these guys. And we got one, let's get out. Um, I should mark this, actually. Uh, I'll just put it right here. Uh, what, nether fortress? Yeah. So now we have all the materials that we need to craft the brewing stand, however, we still can't do that. If you remember in episode 2 or 3, I found a little thing shining right here. That's actually an aura node from Thomcraft, and we can find those with our thermometer. Um, you need to fill your wand with these, and, uh, you know, then you can craft. We don't have the V available in our wand to craft right now. However, um, I'm going to find some aura nodes in between episodes, and I will come back next time ready to do some crafting. So let's go ahead and end that one there. I'm also kind of starving. Yeah, let's end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe leave a like or something, and tomorrow we will full, I'm lagging, fully finish polyethylene production and probably do a little bit more Thaumcraft. I'm actually really excited about Thaumcraft, so... Yep. I'll see you guys in a couple of days and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.